Hi there, welcome back in the studio. This video is brought to you by Gospel Beats at gospelbeats.com. This is the fifth and last episode of the Compression Made Easy series. We're going back to the session we use for the EQ series, so if you haven't already, go check that series of videos as well. Uh, you'll learn a lot about EQing and you can get a lot of benefit from pairing that knowledge with the stuff you're learning here about compression. Now, I have this little group here with all the guitars at once. First, let's take a listen to it without the compressor. Okay, pretty good sounding. This is pre-mix. I've done all the EQ stuff. I've done a little bit of compression, uh, just a little bit on the heavy guitar, just to be sure that everything is in its place. Okay, I wanted to add a little bit of coherence through all the set of guitars I have here. So I applied another compressor here. And generally speaking, bass compression is very conservative. You don't wanna have too much gain reduction. Okay, we're acting as a glue. We just wanna highlight a little bit more what we've done on each single track. Now, this is a subtle change. The thing I like the most about what I did uh, on this bus compression is the fact that the attack is slightly more gentle. Okay, let's listen to it with all the stuff of the mix and with the compressor disengaged. Let's do it again. Let's go. The way of the world is the way of the flesh. The way of the flesh. Okay, the attack is cool, but it's too hard for me. It's kind of covering the vocals here, and this is the start of the chorus, so this is a key part. I didn't want to uh, get in the way of the vocals, so I decided to go for a very fast attack, okay? Uh, without a crazy attenuation, uh, a ratio around, of around three, um, so we're seeing we're applying uh, 4.5 uh, dBs of makeup gain, so nothing crazy. Let's, Let's do it again. try that. The way of the world is the way of the flesh. The way of the flesh is the way of the world. Okay, the change is not crazy, but it's a subtlety that highlights what you're doing here on the chorus. Okay, you're preserving the attack here on the vocals and you're kind of making a step back with the guitar, but you're making much more space for the vocal. So you're upping the clarity here. So compression can also be used to, uh, you know, put stuff back in the mix, not just to make it cut. Okay, you have the attack, um, Parameter ear, which is very useful. People uh, often overlook this attack parameter because most of the time they don't know uh, what this does. Okay, we're applying quite a bit of compression here on the attack as well. So the change is quite subtle. Let's do it again. Let's go. The way of the world is the way of the flesh. The way it's fine, but it's not optimal to me. Let's try this one. Let's do it again. Let's go. The way of the world is the way of the flesh. The way of the flesh is the way of the world. The way okay, this is a subtle change, but most of the time you just want to go with subtle changes for uh, group compression. There's nothing crazy going on. We decided to make a choice. We have a little bit less of guitar overall. Okay, so the heavy guitar is not that um, big here, but we have a more coherent uh, attack here. We're making space for vocals while still hearing what the guitar is doing. So grouping, uh, it's used just to apply some glue and to uh, refine a little bit of the sound. So you're applying a general polish um, to the group just as if you're working uh, with the loop. Okay, so we, if you're more familiar uh, with loop editing and electronic music, most of the time you find yourself applying compression and editing to uh, a loop made of multiple instruments. And you can recreate that setup also in a normal session like this. So at the end of the day, um, bass editing in general and bass compression, uh, it's about applying a little polish to the stuff you've done um, before, okay? You still have to uh, mix properly, okay? You just add another layer on top of that and you can make even more uh, choices. You just gotta be uh, careful not to kill too much of the sound. Okay, and that's it for the last chapter of the series. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, for having me. If you haven't already, go check the other content on the channel and please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Do your homework and I'll see you guys in the next series of videos.